or basics by Lester Wilson. First thing you want to do is check the gas. Make sure you can see that there's gasoline in there. Make sure the cap's on tight. Okay. This here is the primer bulb. You want to hold that in the middle. Push that a few times. Make sure to choke it is as far as you can go counterclockwise like that. This here is the uh, what you call it? Turn that clockwise like that, and then give you an idea of the controls. This, this lever here, push that all the way down. It'll go forward or backwards, depending on what position this is in. Full speed ahead, lowest speed going forward, backwards. Generally, for most snow, I keep it around this uh, second or third notch going forward, and this here. That you push to operate, that turns the auger. This knob right here turns your chute. Generally speaking, which, depending on which way the wind is going, which is across our driveway into the front yard, I usually keep it going pointing east. And this lever here controls the uh, which how high the uh, snow usually goes out. So, I usually tend to keep it up here, but if it's blowing in my face, I'll put it down like that. So, that's pretty much it. So, it comes with an electric start, but because this is a newer thing, I've never had to use it yet. So, once you've had the bolt primed, you've got the choke in the, in the full um, closed position, and you've got the key on the on position. Oh, by the way, this lever here, that's your uh, throttle. I always keep that on full. That's your fuel cutoff. I always keep that horizontal so and, and I keep it that way until I store it in the spring so that said one pull okay now you want to turn to choke one or two notches like that so it's running steady like that and then off you go